Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. This is familiar. Making my way through ancient crumbling ruins while you spy on me through my focus. Stop waxing nostalgic and concentrate on finding a backup. Master might come in handy here. locked but there's some kind of device next to it that did it What's above me?
What was this room for? Looks like there is another console that needs power. Shut down. I'm Man Ted, harbinger of the end of times. What can I do for you? Your modifications to Recluse Spider, the separate repositories for Gaia and Hades samples, well, the costs are off the charts. I'm gonna move testing of the Hades protocol to Zero Dawn headquarters next week. Slow down, Haas. Let me put it to you, nursery school simple. Baby Hades is a vile little thing. And it's got to stay in its crib. One slip and it'll cut off I'm every sure data stream and power line it lays. That's that why one? this dark and scary hole you made is perfect. Very hard to get an unauthorized signal out, so all the cyber nukes you were working on here didn't fly the coop. You know, like Drax.net-4. I think your boys nicknamed that one the Moldova Brain Hack. That was a clearance level nine project. Aw, oh, thought you goose scrubbed this place quick and clean. But your pal Trav went over it with a white glove and found the grime. No, here will be just fine for Hades. Later, teddy bear. If this place was isolated from the outside, then any guy back up stored here wouldn't have been purged. Safe from Ted Ferro's machinations to obliterate Gaia's Apollo database. Elizabeth and Travis Tate. Oh boy! I tell you, Liz, what I just done gonna make you love me. I just imagine them far zenith rag scallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars. A little you, a little me. To deliver our message of doom. Real personal like. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling, then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, Paragon, damn near saint, you love this world so damn much, but no one in it? I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. 
Data file, Baron Promise, ready for transmission. If you would, please. Logic bombs off. Here it comes, far as Z-nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. It's where my mama's grave. Yeah, she was religious. Travis was wrong. Elizabeth was trying to make sure life, the future, she cared about everyone. I'm not so sure. The exceptional walk a path of solitude, Eloy. As you and I are well aware of. There's another panel up there that I should be able to pull open. I'll have to climb higher to reach it. Polecaster can latch onto that from here. I'm gonna have to jump. more of the facility over there. I better take a look. I 
I should be able to glide over. in here. There's another locked door. What's that console next to it? Balls, dude. How loud is it out there? Outside the noise dampening field? 150 decibels? Well, I guess we got privacy. What's the hype, Trav? You and me go back a ways. But I never saw you cheat no one. Why start with Farzini? I was gonna tell you about it. They get a copy of Gaia, I get a spot on the Odyssey. But, but I told them, I said, make it two spots, because I'm bringing my friend Trav. Gosh, Hank, sounds like the dampening field done slipped. You all right? No, I'm cool. Okay, got a personal field right here, see? Now, I know your ears ain't working so well just now. But see that text transcribing every word I say? Good. While I dial the music out there up to 170 decibels, how about you type in that transmit code? There you go. And that's all of it? Thank you, Hank. We're done. Security? Hank Shaw is ready for collection. No, he's still breathing. Might want to bring a spatula, though. <laughs> Bring some mustache later. There's data here. Travis Tate. This place turned out a lot of malware before Zero Dawn took over. Looks like this is connected to the door. It needs a code to open. Deal's off, Tilda. Zero Dawn got its ectogenic chambers. Far Zenith needs the Apollo database. There's no reason this incident... You tried to steal Gaia. I had nothing to do with it. 
and you punished those responsible. Your logic bomb has them scrambling to restore vital systems. I'm really supposed to believe that you knew nothing about this? Please, Liz. Humanity's chances are slim as is. You may not approve of our plan, but what if we're the only ones to survive? Don't you want us to have Apollo to remember our common past, our mistakes? I'm begging you. Fine. You'll get your copy of Apollo. Thank you. Let's speak again before- Goodbye, Tilda. Enough now. Time to let go. Door. Getting close. That'll keep me awake.
Okay, so much for the flood. hasn't corroded anything I need. Let the back up. Start looking. Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay, bring it up. That doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable and very heavy. Be careful. Oh, at least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like this Recluse Spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I'd better take a look at that excess panel. Yes, get to it. Okay, I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades' backups, the other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the Gaia repository is stuck. So unstick it. I need to detach the cable from the arm's coupling. from the coupling, the arm ought to come down. down, I should be able to access that pod. I've got one. Two, in fact. I was starting to get worried. Data footprint low. 90% memory free. That can't be right. Gaia was a vast superintelligence. He barely expected it. Wait, wait. It's useless without subfunctions, but there are subfunctions out there. The original ones. 
Scattered to the winds when Gaia blew herself up? They could be anywhere. You can't find them in time. Even if you did, the mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades. You have no idea. I do. A good one. If it works. You found the maneuver, but it won't connect. It's close. Mountains west of Plainsong. Close enough for me to go get it. I was hoping to find all the subfunctions, but one's enough to get started, right? It is. Recover maneuver. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. When she's conscious, she helps me find the other subfunctions. I go gather them. And rebuild her piece by piece. Very clever. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Oh, yes, well. About that. Alert! Intruders! Alert! Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek. A genetic key with which they can reboot Gaia and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Silence. For once, Eloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours! I'm trying to help you here. <clears throat> Try spying on me with that. There. New focus, spyware free. I don't care how powerful they are, the only thing that can open that hatch is me. The question is, can I find another way out? There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobat. Please, step inside. <laughs> Have it? Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Has someone... Something wrong? Shit! Spectres, beta! Any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one, when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Mm hmm. Don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the if it Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric! Yeah? Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we 
got what we came for. So let's put it to use. I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor, as life fades from the eyes. Ooh, no hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? This is gonna be fun. They spotted me! Hurting him. I need a way out of here. Maybe if I can bring the whole processor down. I gotta use that console to make it drop more. Feel it. 
to kill you. Better than letting you have all the fun. was that? Me killing what you wanted dead? What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed, body went with it. Right. And since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search. There's a current. Is it heading for an exit? It might be a way under. There's a current. Is it heading for an exit? Might be a... Do 
this.
know how to get out of here. somewhere. Some kind of power room. Currents lead here. Promising. there. Hey, 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 hey. It's right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? 
an outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. <laughs> Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains. The west of Plain Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape. To... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. She told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Fine. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As Vodan blends with the roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Verl said I should talk to you. About the machines. In the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods. And she's dying. But not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. West of Plain Song. There's trouble out there? The Utaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. You said the tribe has trouble with its fields and settlements. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in. Forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. 
Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. Wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. Not that we're gonna lose hope. Ray and other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us, seeding and harvesting the fields of Plainsong. Food for all, a miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm, a blessed land, providing sustenance for my people until the derangement. So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered year by year. Once they were peaceful, now they turn on us when we approach, even attack us. They'd always enrich the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid. A blight that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we... We barely have enough to feed our children. It must be... Over-fertilization. Spread by spores, maybe? I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they've fallen apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. Thanks for taking us in. Varl's the one that carried you across the wilds. I doubt anyone else here would have let us in. Or stayed by my side to make sure Aloy was comfortable. We were lucky to find you. I could say the same thing. Sounds like you two have been spending a lot of time together. I wish it hadn't taken an injury to make that happen. I hope you feel better. And soon. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Doe first then Ray, then me, and so on. Spattered with soil from their labors, each reappeared two days later, shining anew, without so much as a scratch. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hallowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stop the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in the cauldron? Sounds like it. But the way these land gods come and go, it's not like anything I've seen before. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. I don't even know if Ray heard me. What you did soothed her more than I ever could. It's not your fault, Saw. So. And without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods, Luxo. 
There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong, assemble the chorus, tell how you soothed Ray, ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. She needs rest. You don't have to tell me. I'm fine. I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. <laughs> she does not need you to help her heal. You could... Come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her calm. I'd like to, but I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So, wait. It's not uh, that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Is that what you were trying to say? Um... Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. Yeah, me too. <laughs> You're supposed to be resting. Laurel, you should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... <sighs> no. Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain song when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. Get out of here. Okay. So, wait. Who are they? Fill my patch with these later. Hello. Hope you're doing well. Docile. Part of its programming, maybe? It 
dangers of the hunt require quality gear. to meet Laurel and Zoe in plain song. Ask the chorus if we can go into their sacred cave. Minerva should be inside. If I can get it, I can reboot Gaia. And then maybe we can figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. But first, I might want to explore a little. See what I can find in this area. <laughs> 